In this lesson, we are going to create React application and build a home screen for our self-order quiz like this. What we're gonna do is to install VS Code and Google Chrome, and then we are going to create a React application and then use Material UI to format the screen like this and shows a red section for order pay here and a green section at the end for touch to start. Let's get to code. First of all, we need to install Visual Studio Code. Just go to this link and click on download based on your operating system. And install Google Chrome. Go to google.com slash Chrome and click on download Chrome to install it. After installing VS Code and Chrome, you are ready to start coding. Let's open VS Code. And here, what I'm going to do is to create a new terminal and go to your desktop folder. Inside desktop folder, we are going to create a React application. Type npx create dash react dash app and enter the name of the web application. I'm going to set the name to self order QSC and press enter. By running this command, all packages that need to create a React application will be run. And at the end, you will have a folder named self order QSC in your desktop folder. And you can go to that folder and run your very basic React application. At this point, we need to go to this folder, self order QSC, and then type code and put on a space and enter dot. By running this command, a new VS Code window will open and you have the folder structure for your project in the left side. In this step, we are going to create a home screen. Inside SRC, right click, new folder, set folder name to screen, and inside that, create a new file and set file name to home screen.js. Inside this screen, type RFC and press tab to create a React functional component. If you don't have this snippet, what you need to do is to go to extension and, and search for React ES7 React Redux snippets. After installing this package, by typing RFC, you will have a recommendation to create a React functional component. If you like to type it manually, just type this code to create a very basic React component. What we're gonna do in this step is to use Material UI as a UI framework. We're not going to use regular dev in HTML. We are going to use Material UI for building elements in the UI. Open your terminal from File, New Terminal, and then npm install Material UI UI slash core and also matter material ui slash icons let's fix the typo here material and press enter by installing these two packages you have access to all html elements and icons inside material ui package in the meantime we can get rid of dev here and create a card card is a component from material ui inside card create card action area inside card action area create a box it is very similar to dev in html inside this box create another box and inside that create a text to create a text in Material UI, we use typography component, typography, and inside typography, enter this message fast and 
easy. We are going to create a home screen. Let's close the installing package here. For typography, I'm going to set the component to H6 and set variant to H62. So the fast and easy will be rendered as a H6 component and the style of this text is going to be H6. After that, it's time to create another text. Duplicate this and set component to H1 and variant to H1 and change text to order. Create a new line and assign pay. Create a new line, assign here. Save it. Here is the first box. Let's go for the second box. For second box, I'm going to create a logo and set variant of logo to large. We need to create this component later. After this, create another text typography and the content is going to be touch to start. Set component to H5 and variant to H5 too. Let's import cart, cart action area from material UI, import box, card, card action area, and typography from material UI, at sign, material UI slash core. Also, we need to import touch app icon. It's an icon that we need to show in the screen from material dash UI slash icons slash touch app where we are going to use it it's here right after this typography create this component and set font size to large the last step is gonna be creating logo component go to src right click create a folder for components and inside that right click new file create logo.js type rfc and press tab to create logo and what we're gonna return here is an image set source of image to slash images slash logo.png and set alternative to food order and set class name to styles dot large logo and close it we need to create style inside this rc folder right click new file and set file name to styles.js to create a style in material ui we need to import make styles from material ui import make styles from material ui slash core inside that create a function named use styles and it's equal to make styles function make styles function accept another function as a parameter and the input to this parameter to this function is the theme inside that we are going to return an object and this object has all styles that we need to have in our application. The first style that I'm going to create is a large logo. And for this, let's set height to 100 pixel. So inside logo.js, just import use styles from styles.js and inside logo function we are going to define styles equal to use styles that's it save and here is the logo.js inside home screen we are going to get access to the styles too i just copy this line from logo paste it here in line 4 in home screen copy this 
from logo and paste it in home screen inside the component. We are going to apply some styles to this component. First of all, let's import logo. By pressing control space, you will have a recommendation. Select logo from SRC components logo like this. And let's add some styles to the home screen. The first styles that we are going to add is for main box right here. I'm going to set class name to an array. And this array contains two styles. The first one is styles.root and second one is styles.red. For styles.root, what I'm going to do is to set display flex inside styles here for the root i'm going to set this attributes height is full height display is flex and flex direction is column i'm going to put item vertically second style is red for red set background color to this red color and set color to white so in the home screen i have this Let's go for the next one. Here, the internal box, I'm going to set the style to main and center. For main class, go to style and create main. Set flex to one, occupy the whole width, overflow auto. Set flex direction to column and display flex and, and color to white. For center, we are going to set display to flex, justify content center, align item center, and text align center. That's it for the internal box. The last style is going to be for the bottom. The bottom is here. Set class name to center and green. For green, let's go to style and add a an style for green. It's super easy. Just set background color to a green color like this. Okay, it's time to check the results. Open your terminal after installing Material UI, just run npm start and press enter. Here is the result and that's not what we want. To fix it, let's go to app.js here and get rid of all content here and also this. What we're gonna do is to import theme provider from material UI core and set theme equal to theme. We need to create a theme here. Inside that, import CSS baseline. This component import all CSS we need to have material UI in our page and then create a container from material UI and set max width to small sm. Inside container, create a paper component for a material UI. And inside that, we are going to render home screen component. Import it like this from home screen inside screens slash home screen. Great, just save to style your code and what we need to do here is to create a theme right before app.js create a theme using create material ui theme press control space to import it from material ui inside that what we're gonna do is to add some styles the first one is about the typography and for Typography set heading one, font weight to bold. Set heading two, font size to two rem and black. And set heading three to 1.8 rem bold and white. Let's go for colors. Right after typography, create a palette object and set the primary color to this. It's somehow red. And set secondary color to this color. Save it. And we have 
all set to run the project. Fix the typo, home screen, action area, and at the end, right here. Open the project. Great. What we did is to create a screen like this. It's the home screen for our self-order kiosk. Let's fix the issue with food order icon. Inside public folder, create a new folder, set folder name to images. And inside that, you need to put a logo. I'm gonna put this logo and you can find this logo in the Git repository of this project. The link is in the description. Let's refresh. Aha. Uh -huh. So it says touch to start. When you click on it, you will see an animation, but nothing happens. For the next session, we implement the action here and create the next page. Until that lesson, bye-bye.